So Don Lemon laughs at Ice Cube with Chris Cuomo about their interview on CNN. Ice Cube responds, humiliating Don Lemon. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and you click the bell button as well if you like and share. And consider following me on my Twitter page at Jordan Jordan Show. And you guys, this really does help my channel and help me with my equipment. I, I am selling merchandise. Merchandise. Um, winter is just around the corner. You know, it comes in different sizes and colors. And y'all know we can't have a cuddle buddy with us unless we know him, you know. You know, it's pandemic. Comes in with different sizes and different colors. And I'd really appreciate it if you consider buying a hoodie um, to support my channel or anything else that's in the store. You know, I also have tanks and t-shirts and um, a long sleeve um, sweater. So I'd really appreciate it for the support. So I want you guys to watch this video of Don Lemon and Cor Chris Cuomo talking about the Ice Cube interview. And I'm going to come back with some more. The only one with a unicorn. So, um, interesting conversation with Cube. But there's a lot more to it than what happened, what you guys talked about. How so? Well, the whole there's a reason that African Americans are not drawn to most African Americans are not drawn to or open to what this administration is doing or saying. One must be careful with let's put it this way. I had a conversation the other day and then I won't give it away. Um, with Oprah, and she talked about um, the power of a platform, right? Just a phone conversation, power of a platform. So if you're someone like Ice Cube, and you have the platform that you have, and I don't want to disrespect him, I, you know, he's very accomplished. Um, I've only met him a few times, nice guy. But one needs to know what one is talking about. One needs to educate oneself on just what is other than the basics about capital, which is important, um, about voting, which is important, and so on and so forth. So you have to be careful who you align yourself with. So you have to, you have to educate yourself about that. What is happening with the Trump campaign, and they have admitted it, is that they need African American votes to win. This is just to win for them. So what they are doing is trying to pit African Americans against Hispanics or against immigrants by saying that immigrants are taking your jobs. They're trying to appeal to African-American men, I should say, men. They know that they cannot get the women, so they're not targeting African-American women. They're targeting black men. Uh, immigrants are taking your jobs, and don't you want the money because you need to build wealth and blah, 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 blah. So there is a sort of a, a too cute by half aspect of what they're doing. There is the money, as you so rightly pointed out, in the Trump uh, plan does not, it is not specifically earmarked for anything. It's not specific. Certainly not for blacks. Certainly not for blacks. And, that, and that, let's, the black thing, that's another thing. I'll get to that. If you listen to the town hall last night, what Joe Biden said, the, what he's talking about, it, he has specifics on how he's going to help the black community, where the money is going to go to coalitions he's trying to build. Trump, the Trump plan does not have that. So the black thing, here's the problem with that. I understand what he's saying about black people and about descendants of slaves. Again, be careful who you align yourself with because this Eidos, uh, African descendants of slaves, um, a lot of Russian bots, a lot of bots online targeting, doing the dirty right. work of Russia. Uh, for that. And to discriminate, I think, again, it's okay to point out that you're a descendant of slave. Don't get me wrong. That's fine. And some people are not. And that doesn't make one person less or more black than another person. But to discriminate against someone to say, well, we just want this because we are black in this way, I think it's discriminatory because people of color, there's, there's power in numbers. It should be. There's nothing wrong with having a plan for black America and not just black Americans who are descendants of slaves. Because this country, when, 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 you, when someone sees me on the street or when a black person is going for a job or for housing or for a loan, they don't look at on your application. It does not say if you're a descendant of slaves. Right. It just says you're African-American or you're black. Right. So that that should be enough. So, you know, 
I, I just think that people need to be educated. That you have to understand, be cognizant of how you may be used by certain people for a certain effect. And that's it. But there's a whole lot to there's a read there's a whole lot to why people are upset with Q. Uh, and it's not because he's talking about building capital. And quite frankly, when I heard the name it, it reminded me of Newt Gingrich and the contract with America. Well I, I think like, that oh. I don't think that's a coincidence necessarily. Yeah. Um, but that was a huge boost to the Republican Party, um, both in terms of its determination and its structure. Um, oh, one well, more thing I forgot. Go and also, um, this, because they can't get women, they're also trying to, in some way, pit African-American men or black men against black women, right? And that's why I hear this talk, this, you know, in the barbershop all the time. You know, I, I live uptown. I hear this kind of talk all the time, especially from, from black men. And I think that people need to know what they're talking about. And, and they, more importantly, know what they're voting for. Right. Okay? All right, go on. Sorry. I would only say I agree with everything, um, obviously. I mean, you know, you've, you've helped me greatly in understanding my education of a lot of the racial aspects of current issues, you and, you know, a lot of other friends of color that I have. And I think it's important because a lot of times perspective is a big place of where you start in terms of when you read the same document. But... Um, when you read the contract with Black America, there's a whole panoply of different things he has in it. Uh, I don't think that, I, I can't say that Ice Cube has an obvious deficiency of perspective about anything. Everything that he lays out in the document is pretty solid in terms of the need. The only thing I will give him in his defense that I didn't understand until I talked to him is, I don't believe that he sees himself as affiliated with the Trump campaign. No, he said that many times. That he said that... The, anybody the, who wants to talk to me, I'll talk yeah, to him. Biden said, said, I'll do it after. They said they'll yeah. do it now, so I gave it to him now. So I've done something different um, with this video. I actually... Um, posted a video via my phone about my reaction about what Don Lemon has said. So instead of me doing commentary um, through audio, I'm going to be doing it on camera. So take a look here. I wanted to talk about Don Lemon's uh, reaction towards Ice Cube being on the Chris Cuomo show. And I have a problem with Don Lemon. And that problem is this. And, and then I'm going to get to the point of the whole situation with Ice Cube and Chris Cuomo. Don Lemon basically generalized the Muslim religion when he did an interview with his anchor and a, you know, a expert on Muslim relations, on Middle Eastern relations, Reza Aslan, basically generalizing Muslims as if they are a monolith, as if all Muslims in different parts of the country basically behead the LGBTQ community, which is highly false. And yes, maybe in Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan, they do behead people who are against their 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 rules the laws the governmental relations over there but not all muslims do that and the fact that he generalized muslims under a microscope really pissed me off because you what you really need to be focusing on why you are not as accepted in most black american churches because maybe you're gay how about focus on that before focusing on a religion that you have nothing that you know about so let's get back to this whole um, situation, the Ice Cube thing. So he talked about there's a lot more to the situation. He talks about African-Americans are not drawn to Trump. And I'm reading my notes here. How do you know what African-Americans are drawn to? You don't speak to African-Americans. He basically said that African-American women are not drawn to Trump as if African-American women are a monolith. You're not dating an African-American woman. You're dating a white man. OK, number one. He also said he spoke to Oprah. Oh, my God. I called Oprah. So me and Oprah was on the phone and we talked about Ice Cube and the whole situation as if Oprah speaks for black America. Oprah, within her 20 years, finally posted a, a racial injustice situation, Breonna Taylor, on her own magazine. After 20 years, she, she's doing something after 20 years for black America. Oprah is the OG in the talk show game. Oprah is loved by all races, especially white America mostly. So Oprah is definitely not <laughs> the realm of speaking on racial injustice in the black community. Yes, she's self-made. And yes, she grew up in Mississippi during racial segregation and racial times. But from her track record, I... I I mean, and yes, she has schools in, in, in Africa, but let's just let's just keep it a real. OK, Oprah's done documentaries and interviews on people with, who are deemed um, allegations about sexual assault. Russell Wilson um, R. Kelly with Gail King. Why not do a documentary or an interview on Harvey Weinstein and Willie Allen? Not sure if she's under the NDA, but me personally, as a person of color, I don't consider Oprah as the uh, 
mascot for black America. And I'm sure a lot of black Americans would agree on me about that. So he also said he has to you have to be careful with who you align yourself with. First and foremost, Ice Cube is not aligning himself with Trump. Ice Cube is simply presenting a plan to the administration after being told by the Biden campaign, by the Democratic campaign to wait after the election. See, the Biden campaign knows that the racial disparity amongst black people are very high. So does the Trump campaign. Biden really is doesn't really care for black America and my whole hearted, a, a, a wholehearted opinion just by watching in town hall, simply the, the black student who I really felt sorry for, who's undecided on voting said, uh, besides saying you ain't black. I believe that the true swing demographic in this election will be black voters under the age of 30, not because they'll be voting for Trump, but because they won't vote at all. I myself have had this exact same conflict. So my question for you then is besides you ain't black, what do you have to say to young black voters who see voting for you as further participation in a system that continually fails to protect them? Because really, in Biden's mind is if you vote for Trump, you ain't black because he views black people as a monolith. He views black people as a robot. He views black people with being comfortable with being comfortable about being complicit about the Democratic Party and how they never really moved forward with people of color and within black America as well. So please do not paint people under the stroke of black America dynamic because the only thing you are stroking is a man and not a woman. Just saying nothing against the LGBT community. Just saying. OK, then he says administration is targeting black men, not women. And he's using a Roland Martin talking point. Love Roland Martin. If you need someone on a show, Chris Cuomo, to talk about education towards black society, please do not please do not speak to Don Lemon. Talk to someone Don talk to someone like Roland Martin who's really educated on black history, who's really educated on black America, and who's really an actual journalist as opposed to Don Lemon, who's more of a commentator, an ignorant commentator at times, and a journalist. All right. So and I hear this talk about barbershop with black men. First of all, a lot of these black people in the barbershops do, do not know the history of, of black America. I, for one, frequent uh, black barbershops within my almost 28 years of life. And I know for sure, know, damn well, I know what I'm talking about because I just left a black barbershop today. Well, yesterday, considering now this is like almost four in the morning because he pissed me off. So black people in the barbershops don't know what they're talking about. Don't think they know how to talk about is gossip about certain things, gossip about women and cut people hair. They have no credibility when it comes to politics. They have no education when it comes to politics. So please, Don Lemon, sit down on that situation as well. So I want to lastly say to you, Don Lemon, that Ice Cube is not affiliating himself with Donald Trump. He simply presented a plan, his CWBA plan, a contract for black America to both parties. And Trump came forward with that situation. Now, if this helps Trump and his campaign, I think not. Because I think the I think the American people is smart enough and educated enough to make a decision on whether or not they want to vote for a man who ruined us from this pandemic, or they want to vote for a, a lesser master that really aligned himself with a 1994 crime bill and saying you ain't black if you vote for Trump. So I think they know which lesser master to choose within the spectrum of policy and politics. So Don Lemon. Please sit your ass down and please do not talk about black people because you, you you like I don't view you as a sense of of being educated and being known about black people. And did you really have the audacity to compare Ados to a Russian bot? Ados that was really created and aligned with a Howard graduate, which Howard University is HBCU. Are, are you really serious, dude? Like, dude, read a book, read a book or shut the hell up. Point blank in a period. Or, you know, just keep talking about your LGBTQ, keep talking about your fiance and your marriage and just keep talking about the network that gives you millions of dollars a year to spoo the hatred that you always spoo. All right. Like, I'm just tired. So Ice Cube pretty much responded on Twitter by saying, thank you, Chris Cuomo. Prime time. You're a man of your word. Don Lemon, that was some punk a s h i t you just did if you have any balls i need to be on your show monday night at 10 p.m i'll be ready and baby don lemon don't have any balls only balls he have is sucking them white balls okay but anyways let me know what's thinking in the comments below please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when i upload deuces yay